we've made 20 edits, yeah. only 20 edits. Right. And I'll say only, even though from a scientific perspective, no one's ever done that before. Right. So the dire wolves are the most genetically modified precision organisms in the entire world. No one's ever done that, right? What percentage of that resurrection is true dire wolf versus, like you're using a gray wolf? Gray so wolf is a, is a, we call them the genetic donor, right? Mm -hmm. You can't clone from a dead cell, right? We don't have any cells from mammoths or dire wolves or dodos. We just have DNA. So we have like the remnants of the code that then we have to do full sequencing on. And so what we try to do is we try to come up with the closest living relatives phylogenetically. About six years ago, a paper came out and they only had about 15% of one genome. And you kind of need complete genome and you need to have multiple samples. And that 15% of that genome, it was inconclusive of where little direwolves fall in our little box tree, right? So they stuck them somewhere and some journalist was like, oh, they're closer related to jackals than they are wolves, which is not true. We have 500 times more data. We have 13 complete reads of two different genomes with 60,000 years of genetic divergence between them that shows that they're mostly wolves. Before Colossal, we knew that dire wolves were 20% roughly bigger and based on their bone density they were heavier they were more muscular and because they were bigger they had a larger cranial facial their bite is bigger is theoretically more than a gray wolf because they had a bigger jaw right you're making 20 changes on three billion base pairs but those are the three changes that matter right and so it's like you know if your car's got a billion components of it but i take out the wheels and i make one change you don't have a car you got a rock right